So we have had six days of fishing on one of the more difficult situations you could possibly identify, a post-spawn spotted bass lake in Alabama. But this guy figured it out like nobody's business today in the championship round. He is the stage five winner, Dean Rojas. You now have a trophy that matches your jersey. It looks like it was made for you. That's exactly right, Joel. I'm excited to be here. Smith Lake was awesome this week. A lot of different changes that went on through the period of the week, uh, mostly just weather. Uh, the water temperature raised about four or five degrees while we were here, which changed everything. And it was a key to stay focused on the changing conditions mm -hmm. and being able to adapt to everything. So this morning in the championship round, you, uh, <clears throat> I guess you'd say you made hay while the sun was shining. You went out and you caught the majority of your fish in the first period. I mean, mm -hmm. you went out there and the first thing you did was catch fish and you just kept going until the end of the period. Talk about that condition a little bit. Well, if I, I'll back up a little bit. The first day, which was the shotgun round, uh, same scenario type mm -hmm. of deal. The fish were uh, feeding on shad. They were up in the bushes, they were spawning, so the, the bass were up there actively chasing them. Yeah. And I racked up a really big number there on the, on the shotgun round. Uh, missed it in the elimination round and on the um, knockout round. And so this morning going out, mm. you know, I, I, I had gone to this area before and checked it out. And in practice, they were feeding them there, but through those other rounds, they weren't. So this morning I go, let me just take a look over there. Yeah. But when I pulled up there and, and shut down, the fish started feet and busting and feeding yeah. and everything. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna start right here. <laughs> yeah. Little did I know, yeah. I was gonna sit there and catch, you know, 38 pounds or 40 pounds of fish right. in a two and a half hour period. I, mm. I, you know, that's, that's, that's unheard of. You don't do that. No. But the conditions were right this morning. We had overcast, we had a little bit of breeze. Mm. It was cool, it was kind of dreary and balmy. Mm. And the fish just bit this morning. Right. right. For me, right. in the area, they were just feeding actively. Uh, I lost some really big ones today. I would have had, I would have really blown it out if I would have landed them, but that's okay. I caught them enough to win the event. So this was not a spot where it was one bait or one technique. I mean, you caught them on a handful of different baits. This was definitely more of a location thing than a, than a, uh, a bait thing, correct? Uh, for, for today it was. Yep. Th through yep. uh, the shotgun round, elimination round, I had to move around a lot. Okay. You know, yep. I had to change things. And then even today, I end up using five different baits wow. because I didn't, you can't keep, keep throwing the same bait in there. They mm -hmm. won't bite it. Mm -hmm. You got to change it up. So uh, I, end up, I end up, you know, going through a, a cycle of five different baits, and that was key for me. Right. And that's what it really it was able to catch a lot of fish, a lot more fish than I would have. I just don't want. You uh, you had to share that area, I guess would be the, the proper term, with other anglers during the course of the week. That's one of the things that's kind of odd about, unique about this format is that you're on a day, and then you're off a day, and you're on a day, and then you're off a day. And so so other anglers can go through those areas. I know that the boy Duckett was there on one of the days you wanted to fish it and you couldn't because he was already fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, were you worried that, that spot wasn't going to be as productive as it turned out to be this morning? No, because it's not really where I wanted to start. I really? just I was just I was using my ride around to, to mm -hmm. you know I wanted to check it yeah you know and and the way the format is like, like you mentioned you have no idea what the other groups are fishing and where right. they're at and 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 you find out mm -hmm. that um in sudden death you know you find where the guys are fishing at so i went by there and there's boy duckett sitting right there where i was fishing i'm like yeah. well um i can't fish there today because he's fishing he's there already and uh so i'm like well and i didn't know if, if he was exactly on that spot he was in the area you sure. know and i didn't sure. know that. And I had I had other stuff. I was like, oh, I, I don't need that. I'm going to go catch catch one, which I did, yep. and then making it. So for me, it wasn't even a big deal. And then this morning, just driving around, and I'm like, you know what? Let me go over there and just you know, take a peek at it. And um, it just happened to be that's where they were at. He caught uh, 30 bass today for 47 pounds. Uh, ends up winning by six pounds. Really wasn't threatened after that first period. Bottom line, though, is you're the champion. That's and right. courtesy of our friends at Bully Dog, yeah. here's a little bonus gift for you: performance programmer monitor. Thank you. Thank you, Boy Dog. I believe in the product because I have your product. It is in uh, one of my diesel trucks. So thank you, Boy Dog. Thank you for being involved with Major League Fishing. Appreciate it. This is going to go to a good place, I promise you. So thanks for the support. Thanks for everything you do for Major League Fishing. Thank you. Congratulations, dude. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Yeah, All right. Cool. I got a Boy Dog. Sweet.